the shows wouldn't run without the people that you don't see. So as we're celebrating the actors in front of the camera today, I also want to celebrate all the people who are behind the scenes. There are nurses on set right now giving COVID tests every single minute to actors so that they can stay healthy and safe. Hi, Damaris. Hi, Jenna. How are you? Good, and you? I love you. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to be talking to you and to talk about this intense movie that when you watch the trailer, it's not the same as when you watch the movie. It's a little different, <laughs> right? <laughs> love it. Yes, yes. A lot of like twists and turns mm -hmm. in between. But let's start from the beginning. When you okay. first read the script, what, mm -hmm. like, what got your attention? Um, well, first, thank you for talking with me. It means a lot. Of course. And um, when I first read the script, I must say that the storyline of the wife who isn't listened to or isn't heard um, resonated with me the most because I think it's something that a lot of women connect with when they are married or dating um, somebody in the public eye. So being able to have a little bit of a voice to the emotions of what women feel in those positions really connected me. Yeah. And, and I like your character, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil to everybody too much what, <laughs> what she's going through or she's been doing there, but mm -hmm. what do you like the most about her? Oh my gosh. Um, it's going to sound very interesting, but I love Tracy so much because she's tall. I'm 5'11", and it's very rare that I get to see people of my height um, in, in these type of roles, you know. And so it was really nice um, feeling tall, being tall, and, and having a role that required me to stand tall while I was playing her. Yeah. And, and I also like, like because she's, she's living the rich life, <laughs> which is like, Oh my yeah. God, the house, the car, uh -huh. she has like the perfect husband. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, people think that is the perfect life, but yeah. what was like, like to be like on her foot, in, in, like in her shoes? I think you nailed it on the head, to be honest with you. Um, so many people think that if you have money, it means that you're happy. And I truly believe from the first shot in this movie where we saw the big house and we saw the friends coming over and the champagne, seeing that you think that, oh, they have it all. They, they, they couldn't have anything wrong. And being able to play somebody who looked like she had it all, but was still unhappy, I think really resonates with so many people in those positions. And I agree with you because people think that money can bring happiness. And no, I think the happiness is start right here. Bye. Inside is inside out. If yep. you're not happy, doesn't matter how much money you have it. Nope. The big house, the best view of, but I, mm -hmm. I completely agree with you. And how was like work with Dion? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Working with Dion was the funnest thing that I've ever done in terms of a director. Uh, I absolutely loved Dion's energy, mainly at night. He really kept night shoots um, high energy, even if we were tired, it didn't feel like it. He had a boom box, he was playing music, we were dancing. Um, Dion has such a way of letting his cast know he wants them to be there. And I think that's really important for entertainers because we do love to feel like our work is, is being seen. And that was really one of the biggest things about working with Dion and, and Roxanne and the whole Hidden Empire crew. Yeah, I think like uh, Dion, he's, he's very, he's very like special in this sense because he, he, he makes everybody feel welcome, yes. like us, like the, if, if everybody that he is around him. I, that's why... I really like and and I like like talking to him as well, and like work with Hillary. <laughs> you have some scenes with her. Yeah. How how like her energy? Like how is this dynamic with her on set? Oh my gosh, Hillary on set was phenomenal. That two shot when we were in the bedroom and she was interrogating me. Um, 
one, it was an honor, obviously, for obvious reasons, but two, to really get to play uh, with that type of character. Uh, we broke character so many times because it was just too funny uh, how different those characters are from who we are in real life. But it was it was really great. It was easy. It was smooth. And that's all you can ask for. Yeah. And Michael as well. And aside from yeah. being super handsome, which I think, <laughs> <laughs> like, how was like be with like work with him? Working with Mike was so easy. Um, I, it was really nice being on a set as the new kid on the block with all of these um, seasoned vets and to be honest with you, it was it was it was pretty seamless being able to get on set every day and go through these different dynamics with our characters. And he's going through a lot and I'm going through a lot. Um, and he was very welcoming to those emotions and being able to have fun with them and be free and just let them be. So it was that was also a dream. And now talking about your career, you have been like in different like series, different movies, different characters, like you being in Pose, the series you, you had last year, you were in Black, Black Clansman. And how, how did you like try to find your, 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 your roles? You go after them or, or you're like, you think you're lucky enough to get the right scripts on the right time? <laughs> I've been really, 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 really fortunate in my career that I have come across people who understand me, I would say, um, uh, creatively. And that's really what happened with Spike with Black Klansmen. I started working on Pose because I met Janet Mock um, at, a, at a party. I um, am currently on Titans, which is a Uh, DC comic show and I play a villain there as well and um, I was lucky enough to get casted in that role so I just truly believe that just being myself is is my greatest superpower and so that's hopefully what I keep getting booked for yeah no yes it is because I think you you have a really good presence on screen and it's not because I'm talking to you because this is true you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah, th this is true. And yeah. how did you like when? How did you like prepare for this role? Do you have like always be on character? You're always trying to go after, like getting out. How to, how did you do that? You know, so for this role, I actually researched um, villains, female villains in movies. I listened to music that uh, from movies with females who played the villain. I I really wanted to capture the the villain who never started out as a villain she didn't start out bad when they got married um over time these events happened and so i spent a lot of time watching film that showed the arc of a character becoming um becoming angry becoming who they are uh unfortunately with my character by the end of the movie yeah and 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 uh, i want to ask you are you like working like i know it's pandemic this everything is going open up and then it's going to close down but i do you have anything else like coming up right now are you working right now like in anything that you can talk about yeah i'm actually on set I am filming Titan season three. I'm one of the newer characters coming in. I play a character named Blackfire and um, I'm very excited to be playing a villain again, not because I'm mean, but because it's so much fun getting to tap into these characters. And that's essentially what I'll be working on for the next couple of months. And I bet you the set right now is completely different, right? All these guidelines. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just honestly, and I say, I said this earlier today on my Instagram, these movies wouldn't, run these shows wouldn't run without the people that you don't see so as we're celebrating the actors in front of the camera today i also want to celebrate all the people who are behind the scenes there are nurses on set right now giving covid tests every single minute to actors so that they can stay healthy and safe the producers are on calls all day there's a person that holds the boom uh for these long 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 scenes and they're not allowed to say that they're tired so Yes, I'm back at work, but more importantly, I'm surrounded by people who are essentially putting their life on the line to 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 make art. And I don't take that lightly. Yeah, sometimes we we forget that we have a lot of like hunters behind yeah. the cameras just for us to have the enjoyment every like 
almost every day and they're watching the series, watching, watching these movies and everything. And, and all this time that you like, we are like in lockdown, did you learn anything new about yourself or did you start any new Robbie or anything? This year in lockdown has been the most profound year of my life for, um, I would say awakenings. And I would say that the biggest lesson that has been learned this year is to let people learn their own lessons. I find that in the information age, we're reading so much. We're being told how we should be, what we should eat. Um, what's the best food? What's the best way to walk? What's the best? And it, it, there's, there's so much information and it's very easy to get caught up in one of those people who's telling you things. And, and I had to realize this year that people are different and that's okay. You don't yeah. have to force them to, to think how you think and, and feel how you feel. And um, hopefully that's a lesson that I can take into my next jobs and into the rest of my life. Yeah. Exactly. Damaris, thank you so much for your time. Thank it's a you. pleasure to be uh, yes, it's a pleasure to talk to you to you once more. And a lot of success and thank keep you. going. Thank you. De, donde eres? de Brazil. Brazil. Oh yeah. obrigada. I did samba. Muito obrigado. De nada. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank bye. you. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.